كسو دواء ذا دوكسيكا سريع واش بان هاي اسكول فيديو غان وحاد كلو كلمة دون تاني معلمين تبراء ما دادس انجليش كلو يقانو او كاو الرما يا ايجا ايو فسالة اي ديغان سي كليهين وحا كلو اي ايدين فاهفاهين دونان ما دادا انجليش كا وحا لوغا بان هاي اردايدا فسال كا ساقالا I teach 11 grade English at Washburn uh, One of the things I love about Washburn is the community support uh, that everybody gives our school and I'm Andy Schmidt. I teach 10th and 11th grade English at Washburn. And one of the things I love about teaching here is all the books that we have the opportunity to teach our students. Uh, I'm Ben Rice. I teach 10th grade. And one of the things I like is our creative writing magazine, The Odyssey. I'm Danny Brandis. I teach 9th grade. And one thing you can do to help your student get ready is to listen to podcasts together and talk about them. My name is Ellen Carter. I'm teaching uh, 12th grade English. And one thing that I really love about Washburn is the really wide variety of passionate and interesting students. Hi, I'm John Lynn. I teach IB Lib Performance Years 1 and 2. And one thing to get ready to help your child get ready is to write as much as you can. Write letters, write in journals, write fun stories. Hi, my name is Maureen Mulvaney. I teach 11th grade English and AP Lit. And my favorite thing about Washburn is we have this media center with giant windows, trees, comfortable furniture, and lots of great people to help you with whatever you want. Hi, my name is Molly Koppel. I teach 11th and 12th grade English. And one of the uh, parts of my job I enjoy most are reading a lot of personal narratives and hearing students share stories and connect them to what we're doing in class. Hi, I'm Taryn Peterson. One of my favorite things about Washburn is our student-led newspaper, The Grist. <laughs> Hi, my name is Danny Brandis. I teach English 9. I'm Genevieve Hallerick. I also teach English 9. And I'm Tracy Bird, and I also teach English 9. So what are we going to study in English now? We're going to go over mechanics and spend some time that you will um, learn how to write. We will do a little creative writing, um, analyze poems and um, various texts. We'll also take do some public speaking and, uh, and bring out your communication skills. Um, and then finally, we'll um, do some analysis work on finding ourselves in the text. Oh, several times this quarter, we will also have um, shared inquiry discussions as well. We do standards based grading in ninth grade in English nine. And so um, we will grade everything that you submit with scores of zero to four, four being thorough mastery and on time and zero being probably not turned in. Um, you will have multiple opportunities to revise and submit your work for higher scores, provided you use the teacher feedback that we give you so that you can create your best writing. And if you're a student who's very um, confident and comfortable in your writing skills, we're going to have opportunities for you to do extension work so that there are things that you can be working on that are pushing you to do your best when other kids who maybe need a little bit more support can have that support from teachers. We do have a late work policy that if you turn things in by the due date, you will have a chance to use teacher feedback to improve your scores. If you turn it in after the due date, then the teachers maybe won't have time to leave you feedback because we will be doing all of the grading of the work that was turned in on time, leaving feedback for you. Deadlines, deadlines are very important because that's the last day that you can turn something in. Um, all of our incoming ninth graders take English 9 together. So um, this allows us to do a lot of things. Um, we teach you how to use your planner. We introduce the school-based clinic. You'll have Project Success, which is probably familiar to some of you from middle school um, in your English 9 classes. Um, we teach you all about Miller Pride and how to be your best Miller. Um, and things like map testing, um, because all of the ninth graders are in English class together, um, we can do that stuff with uh, little disruption. Um, so yeah, so we're looking forward to meeting you all next year. See you next year. Bye.